Hello Capricorn. This is your reading for this upcoming week. This reading is for my Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I do feel as though some of you are getting over a situation where you felt rejected. And um, you're finally getting some happiness back, I feel. Let's see. Oh, the Deuce of Three of Swords under the bottom of the deck. That leap, that Libra energy there. There's still some sort of disappointment surrounding you, but I, I feel like you guys are navigating your way through a tough situation right now. What's the energy around Capricorns? Energy around Capricorns. This magician. This is you navigating your way through tough situations because you do have the tools necessary to make your life and your situation what you want it and need it to be. Okay? That magician energy there. That is Virgo and Gemini energy. Mercurial. You're healing. I feel like a lot of you are um, keeping things to yourself, okay? But I do feel like you're more communicative where you've probably been like in a hermit mode for a bit. Um, but I feel like now you're 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 at a at a point where you are wanting to converse more, to be around people more, to um, just be out there and social, okay? Aquarius energy there. What is crossing my Capricorns? What's crossing Capricorns? What's crossing Capricorns? Please show me. Death. Scorpio energy. To change some things up. To get rid of those things that's no longer working for you. Okay? It's time to make a change. It's definitely time to make a change, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you have been in that hermit mode um, and, and just kind of thinking about things that have happened before in the past, thinking about um, what you need to do from here on. But it's time to make a move because you'll get stuck, you know, and you'll get to the point where you are constantly thinking about things and get stuck in that Eight of Swords energy, so... What is the underlying issue here for Capricorn? The world. Learning things that you need to learn. Taking them in and letting it go. It's time for you to make a new start. Do something different. Travel even. Get out. Communicate with people, whether it's uh, via the web or um, telephone, just doing different things to try to spearhead your movement out of this stagnant mode, okay? That is Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo energy there with the world. There is some karma at play. So whatever it is that you're sitting in right now, whatever it is that you've been through, um... It is basically what was supposed to happen for some action that has gone on. Okay. In the recent past for Capricorn. What was going on in the recent past for Capricorn? The lovers. Again, Gemini energy there. There's somebody here. There's somebody here that you care very, very deeply for. You feel like this person is your soulmate. You feel like this is the person that you're supposed to be with. I feel like you tried to turn your back on this person um, before, but I think that at this point you are taking accountability for some things that you may have contributed to 
the demise of a situation or to the troubled nature of a situation. I think you're trying to hold yourself accountable. And I think that's where that change is coming from here. You have all a major arcana right now. So there is um, a lot going on around you. The universe is trying to bring something your way. And um, yeah. And then here's a five of pentacles with the eight of cups. That Taurus Piscean energy. You see that? The Five of Pentacles is feeling rejected, feeling hurt, feeling lonely, like somebody did you wrong. But the Eight of Cups is walking away from that. You're coming out of that. That's letting bygones be bygones. Not forgetting about it, but not holding on to it and sitting in it. To where you, you get stuck and you get stuck in the past and past situations and, and the hurt that you felt. I feel you guys are definitely coming out of that. What's coming in for Capricorn? What's coming in for Capricorn? The Knight of Swords. I saw the Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles before I started recording. And they're showing up again. I feel like you guys are ready to speak on whatever changes you've made. Speak on what it is that you want. Um how you want to move forward I do feel like there is someone coming in for you that's talking a whole lot more where they may have been ignoring you um, this person is coming forward okay with a lot of conversation a lot of information here this air energy how is Capricorn viewing their situation four of cups a lot of you are feeling kind of lonely because you you're missing that person i feel like coming out of the heart you almost replace that with not feeling anything at all because it hurts too much so i feel you getting kind of comfortable in that emotional state where it's like i don't need anybody i don't want to love anybody i don't want to give my feelings to anyone because when I give my feelings to somebody, this is what happens. I end up depleted. Cancer energy there. Very stable energy. This is almost like complacency here. Okay. So I think that is too what this change is pointing to. You don't want to get stuck. You don't want to feel like... Um, that you're not going to allow love or your emotions to come into play. You don't want your emotions to completely take over, but you do want to be open to what it is that you really do want to receive deep down because I feel like some of you are pushing your emotions down. Okay. <clears throat> what is the influence here for Capricorn? The hanged me and this is not doing anything this is feeling like there's nothing else I can do um, I've done everything that I can do I'm being blamed for you know this whole situation being where it is right now I feel that you are holding yourself accountable but I also feel like um, you guys are basically saying whoa it's me like no matter what I do you know this person is behaving like this or acting like I'm the bad guy so you kind of like or want to take your hands off of the wheel like you have no control of your life but this says that you do okay you do hopes or fears for Capricorn three of cups you guys are definitely wanting to get together with someone. Um, I think you're wanting to have a good time. You're wanting to come out of um, this this Four of Cups, this stagnant energy. You, you want to feel alive again. I feel like you guys definitely want to get back with someone. Um, you want to spend time with that person. You want to go out with that person. <clears throat> what is the overall outcome here? Overall outcome for... Capricorn.
the overall outcome here is that you guys definitely will start talking with someone again um, one of you more so than the other one is very much more um, in control of this situation one of you is not so much um, I feel like the page of swords is is um, basically is pointing at you I feel that you almost feel hushed like there's not a lot that that you can say I feel you almost walking on eggshells a bit with someone um, that somebody you feel like somebody has more power than you because I see you doing more observing and not a whole lot of talking that you're listening to someone else talk this person has more control in this situation and I don't feel like you're comfortable with that but I feel like you're taking it though it's like baby steps for you deep down inside I feel you guys um, you feel some kind of way about this person you care for this person you love this person but there's something in the dynamic that has changed for you I feel or either this is the way that it always has been, but you haven't been that comfortable with it. I think that, you know, you've just been taking it, okay? If it's always been this way, you've just been taking it. But if it hasn't always been this way, then this is definitely something new for you. This is something that um, is new territory for you because this person almost makes you feel like they have the upper hand, that air energy. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.